it's Annika and welcome to Get Thready With Me episode number 9 where today I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own lace bralettes using your own pattern and your own measurements. Now just as a warning, if you're uncomfortable with seeing the fatty deposits on about half of the population's body known as breasts, there's going to be a little bit of that in this video. But don't worry, there's not going to be any nipple action, it's going to be very PG. So with that out of the way, let's get started. So for the first part of the tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how I take my own measurements in order to make my own bralette pattern. Now, like any pattern that you make from scratch, this may require a little bit of tweaking after you first try it out just to get the correct fit, but hopefully this will give you a good foundation to work from. Okay, so imagine that this mannequin has nipples. Here. To make the bralette cups, you need to take four measurements from your nipple to just underneath your breast, then from this point under your boob to here, which is where you want the outer edge of the bralette to sit which is usually just a little bit in from where the side seam is if you're wearing a shirt or a singlet top. And then from here to here, from this under nipple measurement to your sternum, right in the middle of your chest. And the last measurement is from your nipple to approximately where you want the top of the bra cup to sit. These are my measurements for reference, but unless you have the exact same boobs as me, your measurements are going to differ. Once you've made them, subtract half an inch off each of your measurements. This is because we're working with fabric which is going to stretch. So you will need to make an outer and an inner cup pattern. If your B and D measurements were exactly the same, then you only have to do this once. But if they were different, like with me, then you will need two different pieces. Now you're going to need some paper, a ruler, and a pen. It's best if the paper has a straight edge like this. I'm using note paper. First rule a line that is half an inch away from the edge, right down the side of the paper. Then, rule straight across your B measurement. Rule straight upwards your A measurement. Then rule diagonally, so that you meet up with this line, your C measurement. Make a mark one inch down from the bottom of your B line, here, and join it up diagonally with this corner. Then make little crosses halfway through both the A and the C lines. Join these crosses with a curve to round this corner out. There's not an exact way to do this, just try to round the corner out as smoothly as you can. Lastly, draw a half inch seam allowance around your entire shape. And cut it out, and that's your outer pattern piece. Do the exact same thing for the inner piece, except replace B with D. And cut this out as well. And that's your two pattern pieces. The things that you're going to need to make your bra are bra straps or elastic. You don't have to use adjustable straps. Regular narrow elastic will also work just fine. It just depends on what you want. Stretchy lace. All laces will differ in their stretchiness, which may require you to add or subtract a bit here and there from your pattern. You also need some elastic for the bra band. And finally, for one of my bralettes, I'm going to try and use an actual bra hook and eye closure. But this also isn't necessary. You can just use elastic. First, use your pattern to cut out some lace. Place the straight edge of the pattern onto the outer edge of the lace, and then cut it out. You will need two outer and two inner pieces. And if your lace material is different on either side, then they need to be mirrored. The next thing you need to do is to place the outer piece right sides together with the inner piece so that the two curved edges meet up. If the two curves are slightly different lengths, like mine are, you'll have to stretch the shorter one slightly while you're sewing to match the larger curve. Sew them together like this with approximately a half inch seam allowance. Now if your sewing machine has a stretch stitch, which is this one, then you should use that because it holds the stretchy materials together a bit more strongly than a zigzag stitch. But if your machine only has a zigzag stitch, then that will work perfectly fine as well. Now carefully sew these outer and inner pieces together. Once you've sewn the two pieces together, you can snip off the excess material at the seam. And once you've done that for both pieces, you should have something like this. Now a good tip for making your first bralette. Make your first cup out of some lace or fabric that you don't mind wasting to make sure that it fits well before you potentially ruin all your fancy new lace that you bought for this project. So the next thing that I'm going to do after making the bralette cups is to wrap the elastic for the bra band around myself just underneath my boobs. Make sure that you pull it so it's a little bit tight. You don't want the elastic to be slack and then cut it to this size when you're happy with the length. Now I'm adding an adjustable bra clasp, which I actually cut off an old bra. I'm sewing these two pieces onto each end of the elastic, 
and then because the clasp was wider than the elastic band, I zigzag stitched over the edges and I cut them down to size to make them a bit narrower. Now to add the bra cups, I put the elastic band on and then I flipped it over so that the wrong side is facing outwards. Then I place one lace cup over my breast, stretching it to where I want it to sit. And then I make a mark on each side of the elastic band where each corner of the lace cup ends. And I want the bra cups to have a little bit of crossover at the front here. And then I repeat the exact same thing with the other lace cup on the other side. Then I attach the band to the bra cups with the band's wrong side facing upwards onto the right side of the bra pieces. Now you want to stretch the elastic as you sew so that each mark that you made on the band matches up with each edge of the lace cup. Then flip the band down and yay, that looks like a bralette. This is where it gets exciting because the most difficult part is over and you can actually see your bralette coming to life. The next thing that I do is to add straps. And for this bralette, I ended up just using pieces of elastic instead of actual bra straps. But for the other bralette that I'm gonna show you, I did use proper bra straps. But whatever you choose, the method of attaching them is the exact same. Put your bralette back on, figure out how long your elastic will need to be and cut two of these pieces. If you're using bra straps, cut them to the right size as well. You can cross the straps over or not. Do whatever you prefer. Then to attach each of your elastic straps to the front of the bralette, put one piece of elastic each underneath the lace and sew them on like this. Put the bralette back on and then figure out exactly where you want the straps to sit at the back and make a mark for these straps on the inside of the elastic. Take the bralette off, put the elastic inside the bra band and sew them on like this. And that's the basic bralette done. Now, if you wanted to add lining onto the inside of your bralette, you first basically need to just make smaller versions of your outer and inner patterns. To make these, I traced a smaller shape onto my already existing pattern, put a piece of paper underneath and used pins to press through the outline of this smaller shape to make small marks on the paper below. Then I simply joined these small marks up to make the smaller piece. Then use these to cut out some lining fabric. For my lining fabric, I'm using an old singlet top. So t-shirt material, jersey fabric. Make these in exactly the same way that you made your lace cups. So cut out two pieces for both the outer and inner lining. Put one outer piece together with one inner piece and sew them together on the curve exactly in the same way as how you made your lace bra cups. Then attach them to the inside of your lace bra cups like this. I found it easiest to attach the lining if I first sewed the two together using a removable basting stitch right down the middle, matching up the middle seams. Then I sewed the rest of the lining onto the lace and the bra band like this. Make sure that you're stretching the lace as you sew the lining on. Not a lot, just so that it lays flat against the lining. Otherwise, it'll all bunch up. Now if you've come this far, adding a couple of extra elastic straps should be fairly straightforward, but I'll go through it anyway. Cut yourself two pieces of elastic. They should stretch slightly when you put them across your chest like this. And then all you have to do is to sew the elastic on at these two points, on the inside of the other elastic bands. And you're done. If you're thinking, man, I don't have the sewing skills for this. I actually think that this is a fairly easy project. If your sewing level is confident beginner or above, then I reckon you can try this out. And this last bra I made was my fourth attempt. My first one was atrocious. Oh my God, what is this? Yeah, this can go in the bin. 
So you also wanna give it a few goes before deciding you're not very good at it. And if you wanna make a full set of matching underwear, you can because I also have a make your own lace underwear video. As always, I would absolutely love to see your results. So if you feel comfortable with it, upload a photo of how you go using the hashtag DIYAnnika on Instagram. Make sure your profile is on public, otherwise I won't be able to see it. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this and I'll see you all for my very next video. Bye.